Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Clockify with Microsoft Outlook. First thing we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at clockify.me uh, once if we don't have one already and we want to go straight to our workspace after logging in. So uh, let's go to the left part of your screen. As you can see, there's a couple of options to pick from, but we are interested in settings. We click on settings. And as you can see, there's also a couple of options. So let's go uh, to the integrations. Uh, the only free integration that you can uh, make at Clockify, it's uh, through Jira. But uh, for other uh, integrations, you have to upgrade the account. Uh, if you just need one integration and you don't need to upload uh, or upgrade Clockify, we can use Zapier.com. Uh, once we are here at Zapier.com, we need to create ourselves an account for creating these integrations. Once we do that, let's go to the top left corner on this uh, black button and um, click on make a Zap. Zap stands for integration. Name your Zap, uh, it's not mandatory, but let's go Clockify to Outlook and let's start with our integration. As you can see, first step is set up a trigger. Uh, the trigger uh, will be Clockify application like this. Now we have to choose an event like a new project or new tag, new time entry and so on. So let's go with the first one. Just for show, we hit continue. Now we have to log into the account that we created. Uh, once you uh, create an account and you will try to uh, merge it with Zapier, you will get asked for API verification. You will find your API verification at clockify.me and top right corner, you click on your icon, you go to profile settings and scroll all the way down and you just copy paste the API key link. Uh, back, to, uh, <laughs> back to Zapier, we hit continue. Now we uh, pick the workspace. So obviously the one I have already continue. And now we can test the trigger. The second action, the second action is Microsoft Outlook, we have to find it in this uh, window. Now also we need to pick an event. So let's stick to the first one. We hit continue. And the last thing is we just have to sign into Microsoft Outlook. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.